Good morning, everyone. This is Barbara Stoliker with Art Jetter and Company out of Omaha, Nebraska, and thank you for taking some time to come on. I will say, for some reason, it seems that I can't get everybody muted, and I don't know who it is that's not muted. So could you please be sure that your phone is muted? Because I've been able to hear you typing for a while here, and I'm sure you don't realize that it's not on purpose, but that's just the way it is, I suppose. And we had a technical glitch this morning, so I'm hoping you guys can hear me well and see me see the presentation that we have ready for you today. So here we go. And I'm sure you all know how to use GoToWebinar now. There's a little question pane, and if you have a question, go ahead and type it in there, and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. So this morning, we're going to talk about uh, different types of short-term recovery care insurance. And we're calling it short-term recovery care these days because when you say short-term care, uh, many people get it confused with short-term major medical. And this kind of policy is really to help you recover from one of the things that might happen to you as you get older. So short-term recovery care is kind of what the industry is using now. So let's get going. Let's see, the first thing we want to talk about is why are we even talking about this coverage? I know that there's a lot of producers out there who don't even realize that this is available to their clients. And for some reason, the industry has not made as big a deal of it as it should. But we really should, because almost half of all of the long-term care claims out there are for less than one year. And that information, well, part of that comes from Millen, and the other half comes from Genworth. Genworth has more policies in force and pays more claims than any other carrier out there. And they say 49% of their claims are for less than one year. And I know that is in direct conflict with what we've all been taught for the last 25 years about traditional long-term care. But in the end, that is a fact. And Milliman did a claim study in 2010. You know how the insurance industry is. A 10-year-old study is still pretty relevant. They found that 50% of their claims were closed in one year, and that tracks with Genworth. 75% of the claims were closed in two years. 95% of the claims were closed in five years. And I know that, you know, when I was selling long-term care insurance, we talked a lot about lifetime benefits, and it just seems that that's overkill for most people. And in fact, $100,000 in today's dollars would pay for 80% of all long-term care claims. And from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services in 2016, which is pretty recent, the average total out-of-pocket cost for long-term care services and support, that's what they call it, is $72,000. The average cost of HIPAA level services is $75,900, and there is a difference in HIPAA level long-term care services. We'll talk about that in a minute. So for men, the average claim is a year and a half, and for women, it's two and a half years. And we all know this from our years of studying long-term care insurance. Um, men get taken care of at home for a longer time. Uh, then they pass away, and then typically the, a woman is left as a widow, and uh, there's no one there to care for her, so she ends up in a facility faster than the man did. A two-year plan with one of our carriers, which does provide, by the way, two years, can, can provide as much as $170,400 worth of total long-term care benefits which is way more than that $100,000 that people seem to be spending or needing. So why are we talking about this? Well, a lot of consumers say they can't afford traditional long-term care. Uh, frankly, I don't think that traditional long-term care is as expensive as people think, but in their mind, they think it's too expensive and they don't want to put out those premiums. And again, short-term care can offer up to two years in benefits, and there's no 90-day certification. This is something I really want to explain and make sure that you guys understand. Most long-term care policies are sold with a 90-day elimination period, and we all understand what that is. It's a deductible. You have to pay your first 90 days before the policy kicks in. And a lot of policies also offered a zero-day wait for home care. So your clients go into this thinking that if they need home care, they'll get it the first day. Well, that is not necessarily true. 
part of what HIPAA did in 1996 is it defined what long-term care is. And HIPAA says that long-term care is care that is expected to last at least 90 days. So let me put that in real world, world terms for you. Uh, let's say you get your hip replaced and you go to the hospital and then you need to do some rehabbing and you come out and the doctor says, uh, I need you to rehab for eight weeks. So eight weeks times seven days is 56 days. That is not an expectation of needing care for at least 90 days. So even if you have a zero day wait on your home health care, on your long term care policy, it's not going to pay a dime because you have not been certified as expected to need care for at least 90 days. A lot of producers don't understand that. Certainly their clients don't understand that. So you have to be very aware of the 90-day certification, not just the 90-day elimination. And of course, a short-term care can help people get through their elimination periods. You know, back in the 90s, when we were selling long-term care, we routinely sold a $100 a day period, a $100 a day benefit. And $100 a day for 90 days is, you know, $9,000. And most people had that in their bank account and they thought that they could pay for it. Well, things have changed. And 100 days, 90 days in a facility now could easily run in some parts of the country $20,000 or more. So a good short-term care policy can help your client get through that elimination period. And previous declines are okay. With short-term care, nobody's even asking the question. If your client was declined for traditional long-term care because they couldn't pass the cognitive exam or they um, were a smoking diabetic with a heart attack, uh, things like that, their medications weren't correct, they, they can probably still get a short-term care policy. Uh, short-term care carriers are not as concerned about long-term care declines as other long-term care carriers are. There's no CE required to sell these products, just a health license. And also, this is a new development. Due to COVID-19, some carriers, some long-term care carriers, have reduced the amount of LTC applications they'll accept. They've lowered the age. They've lowered the bar. So for your clients who are in their 70s or 80s and forgot to buy long-term care insurance when they should have 20 years ago, um, that option is not available to them anymore through traditional long-term care, but it is with short-term care. The short-term care policies are generally easier to qualify for. There's usually 10 or 11 health questions, and they all have to be no. They all have to be answered no. You can't have a yes with an explanation. It has to be no. Simplified underwriting. Here I said that most of them are issued in less than two weeks. We're getting them issued in three days. I mean, these things get out the door fast because the carriers are not ordering doctor records. They're not doing face-to-face -face interviews. They're not doing any of that. They're going off the application and off the medical, the prescription drug records. Weight is not as important as it is with traditional long-term care carriers. And as a matter of fact, our top, our top carrier doesn't even have a weight, a weight chart. The premiums are expected to be very stable. None of the factors that were present in the long-term care industry that caused such disruption are present in the short-term care space. It's a completely different product. And also remember, it's got a very finite set of benefits, very defined in what it offers. Um, any actuary worth his salt should be able to price these correctly. So these are some of the reasons why we need to be talking about it and the clients that we should be talking about it too. We really need to be getting those clients who are in their 70s, early 80s, who didn't do any planning whatsoever. Um, the premiums on these policies are very reasonable, as you'll see a little bit later. And uh, it's your job to bring it to them because they sure don't know about it. So we're going to go over the products now. Um, the first one I want to talk about is this Aetna Home Health Care Plus plan. You know, in back in the 90s when I was selling long-term care, everybody wanted home care. Nobody wanted to go to the facility. I only want something that pays for home. And here, now we've got this outstanding Home Care Plus product. You can buy it in increments of 150 
and it goes all the way up to 52 weeks. So the max plan is a $1,200 a week plan for 52 weeks, just one year. Weight is not considered at all. There's no phone interview. There's no cognitive interview. They're not ordering medical records. It goes up to age 89, and neither ADLs nor cognitive impairment are triggers. The way you trigger benefits from this policy is you receive care at home at least three days a week for at least one hour a day. And if you can do that, you're going to get your entire benefit. It is indemnity. If you only spend $300, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the 12. And the one thing I really want to know, make sure that you guys know, is this policy is available to people who have already been diagnosed with Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or ALS or multiple sclerosis. They just have to be early in the diagnosis and still independent. And please take note of the, um, by the way, of the states where it's available because it is not available everywhere. And I tried to list them on every single slide. There we go. So for a 65 year old client, uh, to get $1,200 a week for one year is $101.73 a month in most states. Of course, some states have different, but generally that's a good rate. And then Aetna has a second product called Recovery Care. And Recovery Care is the most like traditional long-term care in that it pays for nursing home, assisted living, and home care. The benefits are separate. You choose your facility benefit. You can get up to 300 a day for a year. And then you choose your home care benefit. You can get up to 1200 a week for 52 weeks. So when you do max out the policy, it ends up being a two-year plan for your client. Again, no phone interview, no cognitive interview, no weight chart. Goes up to age 89, and if you're 65 years old and you max out this plan, the premium is $211.35 a month. Now we move over to GTL, which is Guaranteed Trust Life. They have two products also. The first one they have is Recovery Cash. This one is two pools, again. You buy your facility benefit, which can be up to $300 a day for one year. It's indemnity. You get your $300 no matter what. Your home care, you can buy up to $75 a day for 180 visits, so another six months of care. The total, if you max it out, a year and a half. All the benefits are paid directly to the client. And also, I should mention, by the way, with short-term care, all of these policies pay regardless of any other uh, insurance you have. So if you've got Medicare paying the bill or, you know, if you're under 65, your regular insurance pays it. It doesn't matter. These policies will pay in addition. Most of their policies are issued in less than one week. And what makes the Recover Cash a little bit unique is they do offer cost of living riders. Now, I like to look at this product when the client is in their 50s and early 60s. I think that's still young enough. And the cost of living riders are very affordable, not like in, with traditional long-term care. You can get a 5% simple or a 5% compound. You could even combine this with an Aetna plan and end up two years with Aetna, 18 months with GTL, and end up with a three-and-a-half-year plan for your client which is pretty good if you're working with somebody who couldn't qualify for traditional long-term care. So if you max this policy out and you were 65 years old, your premium's $150 a month. Still pretty reasonable. And then GTL has this amazing little plan, Guaranteed Issue Home Care. This is something that I think everybody needs to be considering or selling. It's a gimme. I think everybody you show it to will like it. It pays for skilled care at home. There's no facility on this, but it pays for certain benefits at home. All the indemnity benefits are paid to the insured. It, again, pays in addition to other insurance, but it's got a drug reimbursement benefit that people really like. 
And they also have a phone app that you can use on your smartphone. You can get immediate approval. It does have some other writers, depending on what state you're in. Um, you can get a dental vision writer, a hospital indemnity writer. And their hospital indemnity, GTL says it's the best in the country. I'm not a hospital indemnity person, but if you are, you might want to take a look at it and look at the rates. And uh, the rates for a plan B on this are Forty-seven, forty-one a month. Now, let me show you the benefits. Here's what the benefits are. And most people buy Plan B. So if you were getting, like my dad, got chemotherapy at home, and he had a skilled nurse come in too, every day that that happened, he would have gotten 120 for the chemo and 150 for the nurse. Even though Medicare was paying his bill, my dad would have received that. It's got a short home health care benefit. It only pays for 60 days of the home health care aid. And that's the person who gets you in and out of bed, in and out of the shower, and maybe in and out of the wheelchair. Uh, this is not one of those pay for home health care forever policies. If you want that, you, you know, you should buy the Aetna plan. But this one does have a small home health care aid benefit. But look at that prescription drug benefit. They'll pay the client $10 for every generic and 25 for every name brand drug, up to whatever they choose. My plan is plan B, I get $600 a year. So look at that premium, $47.41 a month for an age 65 person, but yet they're going to get $600 a year back on their prescription drugs. And this, with this policy, it doesn't matter if they have Medicare Part D, it doesn't matter if they get their drugs from the VA and they're free. I just had one of my agents, I asked her if she put in her claim yet because she bought a policy on herself. And she said, no, my, I only paid 72 cents, so it's not worth it for my prescription. And I said, no, you don't understand. They're going to give you $25. It doesn't matter that you only paid 75, 72 cents. So this is a great little plan. It's only got two health questions. Are you in a nursing home? And can you do all of your activities of daily living? And yet it's just jam packed, full of benefits. And the premiums, as you've seen, are ridiculously affordable. Um, this policy is not going to make you rich, but if you sell enough of them, the renewal stream is pretty good. And your clients need it. They don't have anything else like this. And for most of them, they're going to get their premium back just by taking advantage of the prescription drug benefit. If I sound excited about this plan, it's because I am. I own it. I've had it for three years. I bought my husband one. And I just think this is one of the greatest little policies on the planet. So some of you might have been familiar with the Kemper plan, and that has been pulled off the market as of March 31st. As a matter of fact, that GTL short-term home care looks a lot like Kemper. It was based on the Kemper plan. But um, if you are appointed with Kemper or Reserve National, you no longer have this product to sell. So another reason to be talking about GTL. And also, Medico for a long, term, for a long time was in the short-term care market. They are out. Uh, what they did is they went to AARP, and they are now selling their product directly to AARP members only through AARP. And lucky for you, the products that we have are better than Medico, in my opinion, and that the benefits are better and the rates are better. Medico was not an indemnity plan. It was a reimbursement plan. So... You've got better products to sell, but we all have the benefit of AARP doing marketing, don't we? Because they're out there talking to their 30 million members about why they need to be buying short-term care. And then we have Standard Life. We have Recovery Care, too. This is a great little product. We don't use it a lot because the underwriting is very different um, than the traditional short-term recovery care products that we're used to, but it's good if you want to see medical necessity as a benefit trigger and if you do want a cost of living rider and it's got a waiver of premium. To my knowledge, this is the only short-term care product out there that has a waiver of premium. And you can see it is a little bit more expensive, too. It's $176.80 when you max out the benefits. They only pay 75% for assisted living, and they only pay 75% for home care and only for 90 days. But 
a big, strong company. And other than that, I like the product. And then there's true freedom. True freedom is very different. It is not an insurance plan. It's a home care membership plan. And by the way, I see the questions over there, but I don't want to, I can't read them right now. Anyway, this is a home care membership plan. It is available in every state because it's not insurance. So we don't have to worry about getting it approved everywhere. There is no underwriting on this. They don't ask any underwriting questions. The only thing they ask the client to attest to is that I am not currently receiving home health care, nor do I need it. They have four different plans available. They are the same for everybody. So if you're 96 years old, you pay the same rate as a 50 year old. What you do is you buy a bank of hours and you might buy 1500 hours. And then when you need care, <coughs> excuse me, you call the company and you say, hi, my name's Barbara, I have the flu. I need somebody to come make me soup and clean my house and they will send somebody out to do it within 24 to 48 hours. And then it's deducted from your hours. You don't pay anything. The company takes care of paying the home health care aid. This is very innovative. A lot of producers are scared of it because it's not insurance. So it's not guaranteed by anybody and it's not guaranteed by the state and they didn't have to run it through any actuaries. But I've been working with the True Freedom people for about, oh, I don't know, 11 years now. I like them. We, uh, we at Art Jetter have faith in them. We've seen their financials. We believe that they will do everything they say they do. And so far, I haven't had a single complaint, but we've had a lot of claims paid. It's a field issue product. When you leave, that client is covered. And I've already explained the claims process. Now, I do have a little link here to, uh, uh, what do I want to say, a whiteboard video, but I tried it and it turns out that I'm the only one who can hear it. If I play it, you guys aren't going to be able to hear it. So if you want that video, I'm more than happy to send it to you. Just drop me an email. So let's look at some case studies. So here we've got Wonder Woman and she's 65 and she was declined because of arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. She uses tramadol. She had a stroke two years ago and she failed the cognitive exam. There isn't a long-term care on the, on the planet who's gonna to touch her. But here's what short-term care looks like for her. With the Aetna Recovery Care product, and that's the one that's most like traditional long-term care, we can get her $100 a day for the facility for a year and it, with, a, with a true zero-day elimination, plus $600 a week of home care for 52 weeks for $106 a month. We can get her the Home Care Plus policy with just the home care if she wanted it. $1,200 a week for, for a year for a hundred, about $100 a month. We can get her the GTL Recover Cash, $150 for the facility for a year plus $75 a visit for, at home for six months for $82. And of course, that GTL home care only with up to the $300 for skilled home care services and the prescription drug benefit at her age is $47.41 a month. And again, she takes advantage of the prescription drug and the rest of the policy will be free. And then Rocky. Rocky got declined for sleep apnea, non-insulin dependent diabetes. You know, long-term care carriers don't like any kind of diabetes high blood pressure, and memory concerns, but he hasn't been formally diagnosed. It's just that his wife's afraid that she's forgetting stuff. He's forgetting stuff. Well, maybe she is too. I don't know. So the Aetna Recovery Care, 150 a day for a year, plus 600 a week for a year, 165. Aetna Home Care Only, 1,200 a week for 52 weeks, 145. GTL Recover Cash, 150 a day for a year, $75 for home care for six months, 127. He's pretty reasonable. He's 70 years old. And the GTL short-term care, because they're age banded, he would pay the same $47.41 a month as Wonder Woman. Captain America. He's a smoker, he's overweight, he's got diabetes, and he had a heart attack. So Aetna Recovery Care, again, 150 a day for a year, 600 a week for 52 weeks, 246. 
this guy, we can that's two years of coverage. You know, we're not going to get him anything with traditional long-term care. Home Care Plus, twelve hundred a week for a year, one ninety. And the GTL short-term home care, he's in a different age bracket. It goes up a little bit, sixty-four dollars and three cents. Now he cannot have the GTL recover cash because GTL does have a weight chart, and he won't make it. And all of these people are also eligible for the true freedom. So your typical buyer is going to be between 65 and 74. Our average is actually 72 years old. Most people buy the full year. And the reason is because most of the people we talk to actually have been declined for traditional long-term care. And so they're looking to get as much coverage as they can any way that they can get it. So they actually max out their policies. On the Aetna, we sell a lot of $300 a day for the facility, $1,200 for the home care for the full two years. People are just trying to get as much coverage as they could. Policies are sold for $150, $200, or $300 a day with no cost of living rider on average. So we don't do a lot of $130, 160, 170. It's either 150, 200, 300. The average premium for a short term care policy is $1,638. Now, I know that seems un not possible because you've got the GTL, which are like $30, $40, $50 a month, but that just tells you too how much of the other short term care policies are being sold that cover the other, the other types of care. The people you need to be talking to are your current, your MedSup or MA client base, especially for that GTL short-term home health care. I mean, you already know who takes medications. You already know how much they're spending on it. And also your MA clients, you know, could probably use that hospital indemnity rider. We just had a, uh, I just had a producer I talked to whose client bought one because she wanted hospital indemnity coverage, but she couldn't get it because she was had COPD and she was on oxygen and an inhaler, but she was able to get it through that GTL plan um, as a writer. So she bought the GTL plan and she got $300 a day uh, for six days. And I think the max there was a year, but she was thrilled because she was able to get it. Your overweight clients, when they come in your office and they t say, I want some of that long-term care insurance, and you look at them and think there is no way you are gonna qualify this is where you want to turn to. Uh, Aetna, again, no weight chart. We can probably get them coverage. Right now at Aetna, I'm running 100% approval for the year. They have very, very, uh, what's the word I want to say, predictable underwriting. We would never send, I would never send you in there with a client I thought would get declined. The clients who want some kind of coverage but can't afford a traditional long-term care, you've seen the premiums, you know how affordable they are. And of course, if you're selling long-term care, you already know that when you sell a policy to a couple and one of them gets declined, they get mad. And then the, the one who gets uh, approved also quits. Well, this can help you save that program. If you've got something for the person who is declined, then you've got a really good chance of saving the other sale. And single women, of course. Single women need this kind of coverage more than anyone. They are so at risk. Uh, typically, they've taken care of somebody at home, their husband, he passed away, and they're left alone at home, and they don't have anybody there to help them the way that they help someone else. And I'm, I'm trying now to get to the questions, and it's not working out. I apologize. I saw something observation status hold on does short-term care respond to observation status yeah that has there are no requirements to be in a hospital so whether or not a client has been on observation status is not germane um, to the claims process here and is there legislation to help address it there was a, a group at the NAIC that was starting to cover short-term care and they were trying to define it because so many of the states don't really have any way to define this kind of coverage. They disbanded. I don't know what happened to it, but I don't know if those states like New York 
uh, New Jersey, Florida, California. I don't know if they're ever going to have short-term care because, frankly, their insurance code doesn't address that. So I think that's all the questions, but I'm not sure. Can't really see them. And then that's it. I know that was a lot of information to unpack, but I don't want to keep you on the phone for hours and hours. If you have any questions, please give me a call or drop me an email. I'm barbara.stoliker at jetter.com. And I've been selling long-term care for 34 years and short-term care for the last six. So I'm pretty sure if you have any questions, I can answer them. And if not, I can certainly find you the answer. So thank you, thank you for your time today, and I hope I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.